all the way over here. No. It's about up right here. Don't have the best lighting. I'm sure it's all right. How's everyone doing? I'm retrying this because my phone died before. Now I don't have a nice view of the lake. That's right. I see that there's one person here. Whoever's here. Cool. Welcome in. Hey, what's up, little man? Hello again. Yes. It's been so long since we've seen each other. <laughs> only about like, uh, only about eight minutes, possibly. But yeah, my phone died. My phone died when I was out over there. So I had to grab the charger. Now I've got a chair. Pretty comfy chair now. I'm not sitting on a little, little like wood swing. I'm still not too sure about this lighting. Like, I'm not too sure what it is, but the lighting with Twitch. <laughs> Been away for so long. Like, wow. A long time. Hey. What's up? How you doing? How you doing, Squishy? I'm doing this as if I'm like... Like a Simon Cowell. Wait, hold on. Is is that my tenth fault? My not my tenth. My twentieth uh, follower now. That's twenty. Oh man, I wish I had my alerts up, so I'd like be able to see it going on. But I'm not home, so I don't have it on. Man, I am lazy. I didn't get to ten followers before I got to twenty. Aww. So I guess I'll I'll have to do have to do two in one stream, or I could do two, or I could do them both separate uh, separate in two different streams. Hmm. I gotta think about that one. But yeah, I got I got to twenty. I got to twenty twenty followers before I, before I could complete the goal for ten. Oh man.
and I'd never, I'd never have guessed it'd be on, it'd be on a, a stream like this. I, I would have guessed it'd be on one of my more casual Minecraft streams, but nah, <laughs> it's on, uh, it's on one of these streams, just a random Twitch, Twitch, uh, Twitch mobile stream. That's funny. I I would say thank you for being proud, but I I'm honestly more thankful for thankful for you for coming along because I I'm not lying. Like I've been streaming for a while on Twitch and uh, and YouTube before that, and like nobody nobody would have came in. And it, it's just honestly very nice whenever you actually see, like, people come in. Oh, man. <laughs> this lighting, whenever I talk, makes my double chin just go in full effect. <laughs> man, I'm honestly surprised... It took me this little amount of time to hit 20 followers. Like, that that amazes me. Because I was... Before you came along, well, man, I'm, I'm not lying. I was just totally down. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I was just totally down. And I already told you this before. I, I was thinking about just like stopping. Cause I just do like random streams. And then. And then you came along. And I just like boosted it. And then that. That is when I started doing like more streams. And it was honestly. Baffling to me. It honestly helped my self esteem more because I was I was down in the dumps in content creation and then also down in the dumps like fully. And then like I just got like a complete boost from seeing that people actually enjoyed what I was making. So if I'm shaky, it's just because it's cold outside, and that's just what happens sometimes. But yeah. I'd just like to thank you for coming along this much. Oh, man. Ah, I got unplugged. My phone life support. No. No. Came off life support. <laughs> I'm just thankful that I'm always able to come home after school, watch your streams, which make my entire day. Aww. Thank you. It honestly means a lot to me it, when people say that. Because I make content and stuff like that for fun. And honestly, just a post out my creativity and it makes me happier when I'm able to see that what I've been working with makes other people happy because that's my personal thought like for content creation I'm not going for any kind of like big money like uh, Jake Paul and Logan Paul have and I'm just saying that because my dad's been talking about them a lot. Because Logan had a fight tonight. I believe it was Logan. I mean, I'm not trying to get those big bucks. Like, crazy influencer money. I'm just trying to make people happy. Because I... I was the person that... I relied on a lot of like content creators to make 
to have me be happy. Like, I, I loved my family and everything. But, like, content creators, they just sparked something in me. And that's what created me to try to make everyone else around me happy. And then... You don't like to see if you make me happy. Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. And then I feel like I'd be I'd be better streaming early in their day. But I have like stuff to do earlier in those parts of the days. So Whenever I start to stream at, like, later times, I'm always, like, that tired side of me. Like, if I last stream, I, I was, my mind was literally like, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> but that was, that was still a fun stream. Because I was, like, falling asleep, but not. And that was just a fun stream. Because, like, you could see, like, my mind just slowly falling. Dude, it takes a lot of courage and effort to make content to make people happy. It's a great thing. You're wanting to make people happy. Keep up the great. Keep up the work. It's great, honestly. Thank you. But yeah. E even though I haven't been able to see your last few streams because of issues. I still watch every single VOD. They honestly just gave me so much joy. Thank you guys. And like, before this, the main reason that I was kind of going, going down in my, in my thought process was because of the simple fact of the main people I got in my chat before were either my friends or like people that wanted to follow for follow and I'm just, and I'm just like is that the only people I can get and it's nice to see that that I can actually like build a community of good and honest people And it's alright if you don't have, and if, if you're not capable of attending some of my streams. Because, like, the VOD is always up, and then also, like, I'm always going to stream again. Like, if you don't catch me on that day, you'd probably just be able to catch me on another day. And then also, me and Blam, we came from very small roots, except he he got mega success on YouTube. Like, he got views, he got big views early on. I didn't get that luck, probably because I didn't, like, do so much on YouTube. Yeah, dude, you deserve everything good you get. The most humble and pure soul I've ever had a chance to interact with. Well, I'm, I'm not too sure about that. Like... I... Like, I, I do have my times where... I'm trying to think of an example of when I'm not bad, but I don't. I don't want to say I'm completely pure because that means I'm not humble. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm not completely pure, I think. I don't know. I'm sure there's somebody more pure than me. There, 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 there's always somebody. I think. I don't know. I, I haven't met them yet. And then, like... Oh. PlayStation, I don't care that my, that my friend is online. And then... Like, I... I think YouTube video that I'm planning to upload pretty soon here. It's... It's an interesting one. Not gonna lie. It's definitely funny. But it, it's my first time editing on my computer. Because I made just random, like, videos on the PlayStation before. And that's mainly what I did. That's mainly what I did. <sighs> Oh, I just had to yawn. That get all that get all the cold shivers out of me. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. <laughs> and then another thing is uh like I used to like uh upload a ton of like Fortnite content when that was a big thing like me me and my two other buddies would like play and then like like start a video and I'd be like hey I'm 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 going to record now so let, let let let's try to like be like YouTubers now and then like me and my friends were like yeah let's be YouTubers that sounds fun and then it was just a fun time back then it, it it still is a fun time, but on YouTube it's much harder because you you gotta be very careful on YouTube. Because they kept they keep on like restricting people. And then that that made some of my favorite YouTubers quit, which was pretty sad. But still on I'm, okay, I'm carrying on. Because I have a dream. A, a, a dream that I can be someone. <laughs> I've, I've always wanted to be like a content creator. Yeah, YouTube works in very weird ways. And then I, I never knew what it exactly took to be a content creator at that time until I started, like, getting more on my computer and I'm like, Ooh, what's going on? And I didn't, I didn't know any good softwares. And right now, I, I still don't know any good softwares. I'm trying to go under the radar as cheap as I can. But then, like, I got, like, a free free Adobe, uh, Adobe Rush, <laughs> which is basically Adobe Premiere, but for cheap people, because it's free. And I'm like, mm, I'll, I'll make it work. <laughs> I'll make it work. Because I, I'm operating with a budget right now. A budget of zero dollars and zero cents. And then... Sorry if I keep on saying like, and then, and then. I gotta, I gotta get out of that habit because... I, a fly, a fly was in my face, but I, but I always have, like, habits that I gotta get out, get out of, like, 
Like, I always start sentences the same. And then, like, I'd be, like, saying, like, hey, you want to hear something funny? Or, hey, you want to hear something interesting? Like, I gotta start, like, adding more to my, to my list of words. My dictionary. My brain dictionary. And then... Yeah, I, t I said it again, and then. And so something else is that. I gotta go, man, but I hope to tune in another one of your streams. Hope you have a good. Have you have a good. Have you. I think you wrote that one a bit backwards. Hope you had a good. Good man. Night. Good night. Squish, squishy. Good night, my friend. <laughs> my twenty follow, my twentieth follower. And that's gonna be fun. Doing my twenty twenty follower special. I still gotta get used to the difference between subscribers and subscribers on Twitch and subscribers on YouTube because those vary. Those are very different. And then, like, if if I if I talk to my parents and I'll be like, "Hey, I got, I got, I got, I got," like, if I ever tell my parents, if I somehow, by some magic, get to this, the point where I people start following. Uh, uh, some people start subscribing to me on Twitch. I, at that point, and I'd be like, "Hey, hey, mom, hey, dad, s people are subscribing to me on Twitch." And then they they'd be like, "Oh, that's cool." And then they they kind of like brush it off as if it's nothing because like I grew up like telling them all about YouTube, uh, in the most beginning of my life. So they'd be like nonchalant with it. And I'd be like, yeah, it's really crazy. But then, even by that point, I'd probably be much in the future if, I, if people start subscribing to me on Twitch. Like, that'd be magic in the future. I'm I'm doing some kind of like, some kind of Simon Cowell magic, by like, hmm. I need something to talk about. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> with with like, most of the stuff I do, I try to turn it into comedy, because that's that's the main thing I'm trying to do. I I want to pe I want to make people laugh. I want to pe I want to I want to make people not make. It sounds like a bad word. I don't want to I don't want to make people. I want to allow people. I want to let people have those times where they could stop worrying and just laugh. I know that sounds like a joke quote. I don't I don't want to sound bonkers, but I just want them to be able to forget about whatever's going on in life and just be able to have fun and laugh. I'd love to subscribe. I'd love to subscribe, dude. As soon as I get Twitch Prime, I will subscribe. The, ooh, the Twitch Prime. Um, I'm pretty sure that people can't subscribe yet. I think you have to get to affiliate to to do that and I I've I've booked off every check mark because they're fairly easy just like stream seven days a week which I've done before which isn't that hard really you should get like a straight week that you can just do you can just stream and then like stream for a set amount of hours which it, it those are all easy except you gotta you gotta get to uh to three uh, 
three regular viewers, and then uh, you need to have 50 followers. So, those are the two things that I gotta work on. Getting up my viewer count, and uh, uh, get to 50 followers if I want to become a Twitch affiliate, which I'm not really planning on, because, like I said, I mainly want to focus all of my, all of my, like, content to making, pe making people laugh, and not too much about me making money. Ooh, I did not know that. Yeah, it's, uh, one of the things you gotta get to in, uh, Twitch. They have, like, these little, uh, achievements. Yeah, they have these little achievements that you just gotta, like, take off. And then, like, da -doo, you got that done. Da -doo, got that done. And then, like, after a little while, uh, after you get done with those, you can apply to be an affiliate. Which, like I said, I don't, I don't, like, plan to really try to make money off of this. Well, I want to make people laugh, but if... But, granted, you'd probably need, like, money to, to, like, help people, you know? I know that kind of sounds selfish. Like, I gotta get money to help people. Like, I wanna do this, but it's just more along the lines of it's it's like comedians. Most of them do it. Most of them do it to make people laugh. But then they gotta get they get, they gotta get like money back from that to like support them in life. And then I, depending on life, on life, like my personal life, doesn't sound selfish at all. To me, it just kind of does. I, I, I know it's, it probably doesn't to some people, but to me, I sound like that one girl that's like talking about, like, oh, if you can spend all this time, like, watching me and all that. No, I just give give your money to me, and I'm like, no, no, I I don't want to be like that. So whenever I talk about money, and like cash, I just don't want to like say that I want it. I want it to be like that middle ground, you know. Like, I don't want to say that I don't want it. Because, obviously, you need money to support yourself in life. But, I, at the same time, I don't want to say that, like, I super want it. And, like, be one of those people that just beg for money on Twitch. I don't know. And then uh, I always, like, overthink everything in my mind. And I'm like, ah, does that, does that sound like selfish? Does it? I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to make it people mad and think I'm a selfish person. Other sides of my mind is like, no, nah, I should be fine, and then it just goes back and forth like <laughs> like a tennis match. My brain is just a constant tennis tennis match on everything I say because like I'd say something, and then at the same time as I say it, I'm like, would that offend somebody? Would people get mad if I said that? And then it'd just, it'd just be like regular words. And then it's, if I start like people looking at me, it, it just, the tennis match just starts going crazier. I mean, then that's my personal problems. I, I probably shouldn't put those out on Twitch. I, I don't want to like have my followers, like, bear my own burden. Like, that just isn't nice. It, it isn't nice just to put your stuff out 
and try to put on, on other people. But, like, I guess that's just what comes with being a content creator. Because you gotta worry about, like, if people, like, would care if you said this or if you said that. But even if I wasn't a content creator, I'd, my mind still does it. It's like some kind of instinct in my brain. But hey, let's try to bounce away from that subject. Like I said, I don't want to put my problems on other people. Uh, hmm. What other topics are there? I mean, I could talk about Logan Paul, not Jake Paul. I don't know, either one that was fighting today. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it. Dude, you can talk about anything. Everything is totally fine. Hello. Mm. Yeah. Like, that, that's how I feel most of the time. But then, like, I, I didn't expect this to go into, like, feelings kind of stream, but, like, to be honest, whenever I put, like, my feelings out there, there's one of two things that happens. It's either, like, them being like, oh, I'm so sorry, and all that stuff, or it's them just being like, oh, you're fine, just, just go up, you're fine. Creators shouldn't have to feel as if they can't share how they're feeling. Well, it's not that I'm just a content creator, it's not that, it's just my personal belief. That I shouldn't push my feelings onto other people. Like, it, it's my personal feelings and my personal thoughts. So, I, I shouldn't have other people bear the burden. I know for me, personally, I was here to listen no matter what. Well, that's nice of you. Yeah, that's, that's nice of you, but like I said, it's my personal belief that I shouldn't, like, push my own, like, bad feelings onto other people. Because I feel like when you push your bad feelings out on other people, it kind of makes the, kind of brings them down in bad feeling. And I, and I don't want that. So what I usually do is I keep my feelings in. And then when the time comes, those feelings convert to good feelings. Then when I'm ready, with those good feelings, I can hand them out. Make people a lot happier. Like, I could... Like, I had bad feelings of when I crashed my, my scooter this one time. And I was like, ah, this hurts. And I was just sitting there. <laughs> and then, like, here's the good thing. I was I was he feeling bad feelings right then. I was feeling like, ah, oh, man, this hurts. And then I sat there for a while. And then I was like, man, this hurts. And then, like, this person came up to me and was like, hey, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. And then after they came around, I was like, man... I probably shouldn't, sh I probably shouldn't sit here, and then I stood up and then walked, walked back with my scooter, <laughs> but yeah, I told that story that came from negative and bad feelings into a happy, funny story, and that's usually what I do, I turn my, my, like, bad and sadness to good. 
and I tell it off in a happy way. That's actually a real cool way to deal with it. I never thought about it like that. Thanks, dude. But yeah, like it it takes it takes a little bit out of you to like hold it in for that little while. But then when you get out of that personal like personal like sadness that you had before with that feeling you're able to turn it into something much happier like <laughs> like over the lockdown I was I was just going bonkers like I'm the type of person where I I'd just be I'd just be sturdy on my energy and then randomly boom I'd, I'd get like an energy spike so like I'd be sitting there for my like online classes and then I'd be like mm, I am very bored and then as soon as lunch hit I'd, I'd close the computer put it up and then book it down the hallway and then instantly run back then make myself some lunch and then at, at that time I was like man this sucks and I, I'd just be like super pumped up and then like like I said like your feelings matter and your emotions matter so don't don't always treat them as if you can just stuff them away because there are some that, like, imagine, like, your, your stuff away pocket, that you're, you're keeping those for, like, a good time later, and you can tell them off as, like, a funny joke if you wanted to. There's some that wouldn't fit in this pocket, and you gotta talk, you gotta tell people that it doesn't work, and... Like, you gotta talk about to other people that you're not feeling so great. And then if you find the right people to talk to, maybe your parents, maybe, like, maybe your friends, you can get the right help to patch up that one that's too big to keep in your pocket for later. Then, after you patch up that feeling, then, then after you patch up that feeling with your friends or family, that feeling is then out, out of your hands. Not, not in the literal way that's out of your hands and you don't have to worry about it, but it's lighter. Like, imagine it used to be, like, an anvil-type weight. Like, you can barely hold it. Like, you're like, ooh, this is heavy. Then, then that's the time you need to get help. Then when you get help, you can, you can make it feel as light as a feather. You can feel, you can make it feel better. To where then... You take that weight off of yourself. Yeah, I totally understand. <laughs> I, d I didn't expect this stream to go this way. But I, I'm totally fine with it. Granted, I, I want to help people. So if I, if I don't have, like, the right advice to help those people then I, I wouldn't be as much help. So I always try to make, like, little thoughts of, like, when I was, like, saying that, like, oh, it's an, it's an anvil, and then making it as light as a feather. It, I, I try to make it, like, into different thoughts that you can imagine it in. But yeah.
<laughs> I said, but yeah, again. So, I was planning to this stream just to be like me talking. Just like it says in the category, just chatting. But this turned out very much different. And I, I personally like how it actually turned out because I was able to like talk more out. Because, like, the whole, like, tennis thing in my mind, that, that's been going on for way too long. It's probably not going to go away. You're doing a great job. The way you imagine them is so unique. And I can definitely see how that would help a lot of people. Yeah, that, 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 that's, like I said, that's what, it, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help people. Hey, on an off note, do you know cows can be lesbians? Hmm. I did not know that, but I'd imagine because they're mainly just kept in with each other. You'd Im you'd imagine that. And like, cows, cows don't really see bulls very often, from what I'm told. I don't live on a farm, so I, I wouldn't know. But from what I've seen and what I've heard, yeah, they they definitely like keep them separate. So I definitely imagine that. Yeah, it is, it is a pretty cool fact. I have so many factoids in my mind. Like how... Like... Like, people always say, like... Oh, Christopher Columbus found America! Yeah, in reality... No one really talks about... The Vikings. <laughs> they found it over 500 years earlier. Just... Just on a little wooden ship. And Christopher Columbus had this, like, huge, huge ship that he had. The Vikings were just, like, sailing and sailing along and sailing along in, like, the size of what's now a dinghy. And it's pretty funny. Because, like, it, it's, it's told that they went to Canada first. And then, like... The Vikings are so cool. Yeah, they really are. Personally, one of my favorite, uh, uh, favorite, like, medieval people. And then, like, I just like how they never gave up. Like, the British, they went up against the British, and they're, like, huge army. The British had swords, tons of metal, like, a huge army, full armor, everything. Like, it, it was insane how outmatched the Vikings were, but they won nearly every battle. And then there were a set of Vikings... It was just, it was this was a battle on a plane, just like a straight up field. There were Vikings on one side, and British soldiers on the other. And then they just clashed right in the middle. Of course, the Vikings were wearing like their cloth and like leather, and like their their metal helmets and stuff. Yet they still beat the the British. Which I think is amazing. Because in that moment, they just did not think and just started whacking. Sorry if I, if I fanboy out uh, with Vikings. 
I just find them really interesting. Also, it's cool to check up on your family family history. <laughs> and then and I said it then again. The Vikings I I really liked the weapons. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. I, I like their weapons because even though they didn't have much iron at that time, they still did a lot with them. Like they made little like domes on their shields. They made like helmets and stuff. And then their axes uh they had like a little hook at the end to where like you hit you hit somebody's like shield on the top, you can yank it down. Because they, at that time, they had, like, shields, and they were practically, like, invincible at that time. So they just came around, hooked the shield, brought it down, and then they had nothing protecting them at that point. Which is, like, super cool. And then also it depends on who you ask. Some some people are like, oh, the Vikings were were like crazy savages or like absolute like horrible people. They went in and took from this village. But in reality it it, it wasn't that bad. The Vikings were pretty good people. That's really interesting. Yeah. And then... Like... I like... I like their mythology a lot more. I like the, the pagan belief. Like... I, I like it... Of the simple fact of... It's just cool. And it, it's very different from Greek mythology because Greek mythology Greek mythology was all about marriage, child with the marriage, child from not with the marriage, incest, mm -hmm. uh, everything else. It was just bonkers. I didn't learn up on Greek mythology too much, but it is not, it's, actually, I, I did learn up a little bit, but yeah, and it's, it's a lot worse than, uh, than Norse mythology, and then, like, everyone knows the story of Medusa, everyone paints Medusa as the villain, but, Really, she just got, like, like, it was horrible what Medusa really went through in the original story. Because, like, sorry if I'm going into it. I love Greek mythology. Greek mythology, so interesting to learn about. Yeah. Greek mythology is pretty interesting. But... The, their, their treatment with people wasn't the nicest, I'd say. Because ev everyone knows about Medusa. Everyone's like, oh, the evil Medusa with the snake head. But it isn't that. It isn't like that. Because in the original, like, story in Greek mythology... Medusa was, like, the prettiest woman around. Everyone loved her. And she had, like, hair that could get any man. And then, like, it even got a god. That god being, uh, being Poseidon, I believe. And then, Poseidon 
took took Medusa to his wife's place. His like his wife was the goddess of love. And then sorry if it gets a bit awkward here. But let's just say that Poseidon kind of like like pushed himself like onto Medusa. I'm trying to describe it in the best way possible. But yeah, it it was just Poseidon. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Poseidon. Just going after Medusa. Not cool. And then Medusa, after Poseidon's wife found out, Medusa got punished for it. How does that make any sense? And then the way she got punished is no no person could look her in the eyes and her hair that was foretold to be like super beautiful got turned into snakes. And he's and and when you hear that when you hear that it's just aw you just gotta feel bad for Medusa after that. Yeah, the stories usually have been modified in a way that people can understand better. Yeah, to where people can understand better. And I feel like the original originals were most always more interesting. Yeah, and then I always find the originals, the original like stories to it, more interesting. Because the simple fact of they always get, like Hollywood... I'm just going to say Hollywood just because of the simple fact of they're the main producers of movies. But like, all like the movie creators and stuff like that. <sighs> Sorry about that. They're always like, ah, the god of the underworld. He's evil. But in reality, he wasn't. He was actually a very nice... It was, it was told that he was a very nice dude. And... Like, had a very nice wife, but then, but then, like, movies were like, nah, he's evil, he's evil, and it's like, hmm, what? And then Medusa, I already said how Medusa went, and then everyone was like, yeah, she's evil, she definitely looks like an evil monster, and like, Eh, not really. Not really too much. Not really too evil. Sorry, but... So, sorry if I just... Like, start... Fanboying out on some subjects. But... Those are just the subjects that... I'm personally into. Hello, random car driving by very slowly. Goodbye. Um. Hey, they're driving the book by the cover. Yeah, it it's honestly like that. It's kind of sad. And then they're always like, yeah, Zeus, he's a very good guy. Like, look at him, he's the god of lightning. He can't be bad. But in reality, he was really sleazy. Not the greatest guy. Like, Zeus is not the greatest guy. As it was told in the original, in the original text, the original text. Ah, I don't know what that was about. Maybe like trying to be like every like movie nerd, like mm, original text. Mm, I see. Mm. 
yeah, one of my favorite things about people is that a lot of the special things that you love and can talk about for hours. Yeah. I can I can talk about a lot of things for hours. Mainly because I just have a lot of facts in mind. But yeah, I'd say old things is the thing I can talk about for a long time. Like I could I could probably talk about even other parts of the world. Hm. Fly hit me. I got I got hit by a fly. Well, yeah, is I I definitely say one of the things that I can talk about for a long time is mythologies. Those are very fun. Man's got a big brain with lots of knowledge. Yes. Big knowledge. <laughs> I can make I can make funny faces. Yeah, I feel like I've just watched so many like fact videos. Yeah, my one thing is definitely like random, but I feel like zodiac signs and the way each one is perceived is just really interesting. Uh, yeah, I feel like those are also pretty interesting. Except, like, the thing is, like, when people get too much into it, you know? Like, the concept is pretty interesting on, on, like, different thoughts. But, like, people start judging for being on, like, a different birth date and all of that. It gets kind of iffy for me. But I try not to focus on, like, the bad people. And then... I, I don't I don't really know too much about zodiac signs. I just randomly like see things on like TikTok and stuff and I just like scroll through and like and it like says like what's what your zodiac sign says about you or like your power your zodiac sign and your power and stuff like that and I'd like look for my sign and I'd be like, hmm, that's pretty interesting. But I don't really go into it too much. Yeah, some people go really deep to a point where it doesn't make sense. You just scratch the surface of it and how they determine what is, what, what is what. I think it's more interesting than the personality's point of it. Yeah, I agree with you. But it's not, it's, it's just not when, like, people get, like, crazy deep into it. I'm talking about the people that, like, start judging. Like, they be like, oh, you're like, you're a Scorpio? 
Eh. Like, uh, I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Like, and I'm talking about, like, those kind of people that are fairly annoying. Just that it's not, like, annoying to me. It's just annoying to, like, other people. Because I'm already, like, past the point where I'm able to just, like, deal with it. But to other people, it may, like be annoying to them. Yeah, I, I still, I still, oh yeah, that's just straight up stupid. Yeah. And I, I've seen so many videos of it when they're not joking. But yeah. But yeah, I, I still think like, it's fairly interesting you just uh, see certain aspects of it and then like I, I, I'm I'm, st I'm starting to lose track on, th on thoughts. So I'm probably gonna end it here. It is getting fairly late, I would say. Fairly space. Smells like seared steak. Mm. Might have to try to go up there. Hmm. I wonder, do people with fear of heights, are they afraid when they're in outer space? Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably gonna end it off here. So yeah, have a good night. Uh, but I'm gonna do my my special outro. Good morning, good night, whatever it shall be. I lost my train of thought. Sorry. Good morning. Good evening, good night, whatever it shall be. Talk to you later. See ya. Well, uh, sorry, DK. That would be a pretty cool thing to find out. Yeah, it would be. But yeah, let me, let me, let me redo that. Good morning, good night, good evening, whatever it shall be. Talk to you later. Good night, everyone. See ya.